So all of the examples you have in front of you have underlined the content words. So you need to say the content words loudly and clearly for your message to be understood. The other words that are not underlined are less important and they will go by quickly and often be reduced. They're generally not as important to hear to understand the message. And it's actually important for you to reduce them because we want the content words to be louder and longer because it tells us what's truly important in the sentence. Now the words that are in a dark, bold print and also underlined are your focus words. And your focus words tend to come either at the end or toward the end of the phrase. Now they're the most important word in the whole sentence. You want to make sure to say these words even louder and hold them for a longer time. Where are you from? So let's take a look at some linking. So we're going to link together where are. But when we do that, we're going to create an informal contraction. Now a contraction, if you remember, we're removing letters and sounds. And we replace them with an apostrophe like I'm writing here. And we commonly use contractions with is, have, are, and will. And you're pretty used to hearing that, I'm sure, and we are becomes we're. I am, I'm, he is, he's, they're all very commonly written contractions. But often when we have question words, we also contract them. We just never write them like this, but we do say them. Notice I pronounce this without the A sound in R. Wearer. Wearer. Where are you from? Two, what brought you to Seattle? Again, don't forget to hold your focus word louder and longer than anything else. Seattle should really be stretched out. If you have a problem pronouncing the word Seattle, I have a whole video that deals with that, talking about how to pronounce that T in the middle and also that L ending. So here we typically have a little bit of linking between a consonant and consonant, but since our last consonant is a T, it doesn't link so nicely together. There is a little stop right there. I'm just going to kind of show it as a broken line. Notice how my voice catches a little bit here. What brought? There is a brief, brief stop. They are, those two words are not blended together so nicely. But there's not a huge space between them either. What brought? Something else to note here, as we link brought you together, we actually form a brand new sound. The T and the Y will combine to form a CH sound. Brought you brought you. And then our two is going to reduce to ta. Ta. Make sure we use a schwa there instead of a full oo in the two. What brought you to Seattle? Number three. How do you like it here? Now you'll notice your like is going to stand out more than anything else. That's the topic of this sentence. So stretch out like. Let's go ahead and combine these three words. How do you? How do you? And then we're also going to link together the K sound in like and the I in it. How do you like it here? And then further linking, the T and the H link together, consonant to consonant linking. How do you like it here? And our last sentence, number four. How long have you been living here? Stretch out living as your focus word. 
And let's go ahead and combine our question word, how long? How long of you? Those will link nicely together. And again, we have an informal contraction here. Very often have, we are going to remove the H and the A. We're going to consider this an informal contraction. And we are going to pronounce it just like the word of, O-F. How long of? How long have you been living here? Let's go ahead and link up the N and the L here, consonant to consonant linking. And we will link up the NG with the H so that they sound nice and smooth. How long have you been living here? 